Now let us move on to the sixth question. The question is explain why 7 times 11 times 13 plus 13 and 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 plus 5 are composite numbers. So let's move on to the solution. So let us take the first expression that is 7 times 11 times 13 plus 13. So in the given expression the first term and the second term has 13 as a common factor. So we bring out 13 using the distributive law and we are left over with 7 times 11 plus 1. This implies 13 times 7 times 11 is 77 plus 1 which implies 13 times 78. Now let us find the prime factorization for 78. So 78 can be written as 2 times 39 and 39 can be written as 3 times 13. Therefore 13 times 78 is equal to 13 times 2 times 3 times 13. Therefore, the given expression 7 times 11 times 13 plus 13 can be written as 2 times 3 times 13 square. That is, the given expression can be expressed as the product of primes. Hence, the given expression 7 times 11 times 13 plus 13 is a composite number. Now we shall take the second expression that is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 plus 5. Now in the given expression 5 is a common factor in the two terms therefore we bring out 5 using the distributive law and we are left over with 7 times 6 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in the first term and 1 in the second term. This implies 5 times 7 times 6 times 4 times 3 times 2 is equal to 1008 plus 1. This implies 5 times 1009. Since 5 is a prime number and 1009 is also a prime number, the given expression is expressed as the product of prime numbers. Therefore, the given expression is a composite number.